Hello and welcome to another episode of Tips and Ideas of Ed Wallace of Midwest Landscaping, www.uniqueenvironments.com. Today we're going to talk about dry stream beds that we utilize here in California in the projects that I uh, do a lot of makeovers and renovations. Uh, we do some sustainability work from the standpoint of taking the available water that's coming off of the rain gutters and channeling that water into the landscape uh, and also decorating it with some plant material and basically just carrying that water so they can filtrate down into the soil as much as possible before it runs out eventually out to the to the street to the gutter but uh, just showing you a little bit of the construction of what we do for a dry stream bed we basically have a, a weave block fabric that's down here that we put in to help eliminate some of the weeds we have about a three inch depth of, um, of gravel and there's our, our weed block down near and uh, it goes up to like around this area here. So we didn't carry the weed block all the way back to the side. We carried like about maybe four to six inches up from the edge so the weeds are not coming up in the bottom of the weed, I mean of the uh, stream bed. We could go a little bit wider some places it's wider, some places it's a little bit narrow, but we have an average of about four inches on each side of the, uh, the stream bed in order to help suppress the weed growth that's coming up in the bottom of the stream once we have water. We're gonna use MP rotators here at this job site. Over in this area here, we're gonna use drip, but out in the larger areas out here, we're gonna use an MP rotator to, uh, to cover some areas. Um, but as you can see here, getting back to the dry stream bed, we have um, a pop-up system here, which is basically a, a pop-up drainage emitter that is uh, manufactured by NDS. It connects to a three or four inch sewer pipe or drain pipe and allows the water to flow to the street without core drilling, drilling the, um, the, uh, the, the curb. So it's made so that you can put it right in the grass area of the lawn and have it pop up in that grass and go over the top of the curb and eventually into the gutter. What we did here is utilize it in the stream bed to where we have it in the base of the uh, stream bed. And so that water, once it comes out of the gutter, which we'll show you here, once it comes out of this rain gutter here down, we have a flexible tubing pipe and things happening here where it goes underneath the fence and it'll be directed underneath to come out with a stream bed and we'll have some fine gravel and probably another feature boulder kind of elevated above so that that pop-up can pop up. And then uh, what will eventually happen, see this is pop, this pops up like this. Once the water reaches a certain level, it'll pop up and that water will basically come out. And the concept is to basically have that water go down the stream bed out towards the curb and eventually out towards the street but we want to be able to capture as much of that water as possible onto the landscape and we have a couple of those uh, dry stream beds here at this job site we have another rain gutter here off of the corner of the garage and that pipe basically drains out behind that hedge and so we have it where it comes in it filters down and this is the pattern where the water comes down out of behind that uh that shrub we'll take a I'm gonna take a pipe and direct it more towards the beginning part of the um, of the stream bed where the hedge ends. So that way you can direct the water a little bit more, but that's pretty much the pattern of where that water flows out of that drain there. And also on this side of the house here, we have another drain that's coming down off of the top of the house and it's coming down into here. We have the same concept where that water is gonna flow down filter its way down to the uh, street here but we give it a little bit better appearance of having that water drain out rather than having a, just water run right out on the soil and eroding the soil away. We did some work with steps here today. We have some stepping stones put in that lead back to the uh, backyard area so we have some three inch slab Arizona flagstone set in concrete and we have to pick up a couple more but that stonework was done today also. I um, have some pictures I can show you on my website of the process of, of putting that in. 
Uh, we have this dug out in order to put in landscape edging so that we can put in a carapia. We're going to put in a carapia ground cover in between the stream beds and also in this uh, barrier or this bordered off area here, there will be uh, carapia. Uh, basically, we'll be using carapia here in the front to help uh, reduce the amount of water, but also have some type of green ground cover out here. And then on this port over here will be um, landscape mulch. We have a lot of different California natives and jaw torrent plant material. We have salvia, gray guys, salvia, Clevelandi, salvia alpina. Uh, we have some manzanita, some ground cover manzanitas that we have. And uh, this is a salvia gray guy in our uh, manzanita. This is um, John Burley. And uh, there's our salvia alpina over here and uh, also our salvia clevelandi so we have a lot of different types of um, drought tolerant plant material and we did a little bit of a step out for the utilities in the mailbox so they have to come and work on that to have something to stand on rather than standing in that mulch so but that's um what we have here today in orange county with this dry stream bed constructing it was quite fun we used different size pebble in order for the river wash, we have our cobbles. We have some um, rush inside of the stream to make it look as natural as possible. And we have some beach asters on the outside. And this job, this particular stream bed down here on the other end of the property, we have some finer gravel in here just to change the texture and to change the look of the stream bed. So right here, it looks a lot different when we have that different type of pebble here, the finer pebble, and then your mixture of different types of gravel. And once the mulch is in, it's going to really look nice and be really functional. We have some hemocallus bitsies here on the edges to help soften the edges. But that's what we have here in Orange County. Thank you for uh, checking me out. Stay tuned for the rest of the project. Once we get complete, I'll do another walkthrough and show you what's happening here. Here's where we have a couple areas for the slabs for this uh, Arizona flagstone. This is what the Arizona flagstone looks like. In the thickness, it's like about three inches thick. This is the only plant that we decided to keep. It's a Burns Felsia. Uh, today, yesterday, tomorrow, it's pretty much what it's called. It's beautiful. So we decided to keep that to make it part of the project here. Stay tuned, Ed Wallace, Midwest Landscaping, www unique environments.com